Rothman Thompson syndrome (RTS) is a rare congenital and autosomal recessive disorder, which is often very un, uh, misunderstood, and not many people seem to know about it. So, because it's such a rare condition. Now, before we go and dissect that sentence and look at what is RTS, um, let me just tell you why I am interested in it. My younger sister suffers with this condition, so um, I've got a great insight into how she lives, how she copes with it, what are the problems, you know, uh, how the doctors have to deal with it. I've got a good insight into it. That's why I'm producing a series of videos helping other people to get a greater insight into it. So let's start with this first sentence I said. It's rare. A research papers suggest that there are only 200 cases worldwide to be suffering with RTS, but um, according to latest research and other things, there are probably, you know, 10 times as many um, cases out there. It's just that it's not very uh, well understood and that not many people are aware of it. And even in places like, for example, in India, when you have the sort of poorer class people, you know, they just don't have the, enough um, intellect or resources to be able to know what's wrong with the child because a lot of children there tend to have genetic disorders too. So it's congenital. This means that it's from uh, birth. Basically, they're born with this condition. And um, so far, there's no way of just, you know, taking away the condition. They live with it the rest of their life. And autismal recessive means that if both parents are a carrier of the gene um, but it's not dominant in them there is 25% chance that their child will have it um, so it is a quite a small chance of your child having it but nevertheless they could and the reason why it's often very misunderstood is because it's not like um, Down syndrome or something like that which is one condition it's a set of conditions so in my other videos I'll probably talk more about the causes but one of the causes is that there is a mutation in the gene um, of RecQL4. Now the thing is when this gene um, has got a mutation it affects all parts of the body. That, this is what this condition is. It affects every part of body and growth and everything. Now with the RecQL4 the thing is it makes um, sufferers more prone to osteosarcoma which is <coughs> sorry excuse me <coughs> which is a bone tumor now the thing is with this RTS condition is that somebody who has RecQL4 is more prone to bone tumor has exactly the same features as for example my sister who does not have a mutation in RecQL4 so what the research is happening at the moment to find out what is this gene which they suspect is linked to RecQL4 which is causing the same symptoms. So that that is it and this varying cause or this set of condition makes it very hard for people to understand and grasp. You know, it's, it's not a very <coughs> easy thing to understand. So that is what is RTS, it's to do with a mutation in the gene which affects all parts of the body. Um, so it can be deadly in some ways if it's causing bone tumor, osteosarcoma. In other times it's something which uh, a patient has to live with. What we need to encourage people to do is to support charities uh, working for RTS and all this because there are so many other people out there who just don't know about it and we've got to get the information out. So that was one of um, the main points I wanted to say today. Uh, there is one hospital which mainly caters for RTS in the whole world, which is Texas Children's Hospital Baylor College in Houston. So if you want more information, look on their website, look at my blogs. There are links to my parents have created websites and there are so many resources out there now, so please do your research and help and support these people who are suffering with this rare condition. Thank you for watching.